Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new device that I received from Macy Group. It's called U4C. It's a quad core mini PC that I just got and you can see it right now. It's right here. I will be unboxing this today and also going to bring a little introduction of what it have built in and the OS that is running inside of this little machine. Just to let you guys know from the start, the packaging on this is phenomenal. I really, really like it. As soon as I got it, I was puzzled at first at what this is because the packaging itself looks so nice and it's all made out of the plastic but kind of reminds me of the HTC phone that I had and also some of the iDevices. So just to let you guys know that when I received that carrier that brought it to me, the case was already broken a little bit and it's missing a little piece right here, but it is one of the best little devices that I ever used. But today I'm going to unbox it first and then I got to test this out to see how it is. Then in a later videos, I'm going to review it and give you guys more info on what it actually does. But just to let you guys know that the box itself looks so nice you can see the product itself right in the front here's the antenna it's at the bottom it does indicate that quad core mini pc also in the bottom it indicates that it is a a9 processor it's a quad core and you can see it also that has built-in bluetooth also have built-in camera and also it has built-in microphone. This is a positive sign that what Macy Group can bring for us on the table. So if we flip on a side, you can see that nicely done and the logo itself is a little shiny. So the paperwork that they use inside of it also is excellent. We go on the bottom, it actually indicates what it comes built in. We're gonna flip it on the side. You can see that it has the name. Go to the top, it indicates that it is a quad core mini PC. But when you flip in the back, this is the best part. If you have a store, you wanna grab one of these and hang it on a wall. You do not need to have one of those stickies hook up on the top. I seen that a lot, which I do not really like because when you take it off, the box itself will be ruined. I'm really after not only the product itself, I really like the boxes too and I usually keep them. And hopefully very shortly, I will be having some pictures available for you guys on the internet but here is the little bass part you just have to open this you can see that and now you can hang it so you do not have to put any kind of stickies in there but for the meantime this is the bass part you can see that it does say that it is an android box all the specifications in the back i will be providing that soon of what it has inside of it but at the bottom you can see where you can go their website is right in the bottom here i will be putting a link in the bottom of this video if you guys want to order it or if you guys want to check it out for more specifications and pictures it's also available on our own website which is exitex.info but let me just flip it and open the box that what comes inside of this box so once you open it and put the top aside you can see that the box itself is nicely done and we have to take this little it's a plastic mate we're gonna take this piece off first let's see what's inside of this and then we're gonna go in to the next section so you have to bring it up a little bit the bottom comes out and we have the charger it is a micro USB charger. You can connect it and you can charge it. So that means it doesn't go over 5 volt when you're charging it. We're going to put this aside. We're going to grab the manual. And the manual has been put together a little bit too compact. So this way it will fit. And you have to open it up. It kind of looks like a pamphlet. When you open it, it has all, your, all of your information here that you need. So starting from the declaration, it goes down into cards, what it have, what you need, where you got it from. You go on down, it has the how to set up. You have the screens, movie player, your voice recorder, everything is here. So I'm just going to put this back and now I'm going to go into the box itself. All right, so this is the box itself. I am just going to take this out. Yeah, it makes a little noise while you're taking it out and it is so nice and little compact and here is the antenna now the antenna looks really nice too they have done a really great job on this you can see that that how it is created and when we put it on we have to screw it on just like the coaxial connection so you have to put it on and then just twist it in order to connect so for the meantime i'm just going to put this aside i'm going to show you what this comes with so i'll take this part out this is the hdmi I'm just going to zoom in and show you guys what it have. So where you can see it, here's the HDMI. We're going to go down a little bit. The name of the company, you're going to go down. There's a nice looking ventilation to it. And keep going up and here's the camera. Now the camera itself also have a little plastic over it that we're going to try to take out. And there you go, I took it out. 
So this is the 2 megapixel camera. Uh, it looks like it's just a little markings about the microphone. And we go down a little bit and there's a little markings about unit ID for this. So it is U4C. And when we flip it in the bottom, there is one USB 2 connection and this is the coaxial connection to the antenna. This little section right here is the LED light. So when you turn it on, it should turn blue. But when you flip it on on one side, in one side there's nothing. We go back to the bottom. So from the left you can see there is a little section that you can put your micro SD card in this. It does not indicate to me on the box or on the website how many gigabytes it carries. I believe it's up to 32 gigabyte. I could be wrong. And this is the DC connection. It's 5 volt. And there's a little reset button if you need to update the software. And here is the mic. It's right beside it here. And if we flip back on the top, it's just the HDMI. But when we flip in the back, you can see it has nice more ventilation. It has the information about it is a quad core. And we go down, it just ventilation. And going back to the bottom. So this is just the box itself. And when we put the antenna on, I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And here is how the Macy itself looks. So now I'm going to demonstrate this, hooking this up to the TV and show you that what type of OS it have, if there's any kind of settings, just going to walk you guys through. You can see right now on the screen that I have the device on hand and I have already connected the HDMI on one side. I also connected my Macy remote and it is RC11. This little device is also full keyboard and it is done by Macy. So I'm going to use this. It is a gyro remote or air mouse remote. Now this is not a Bluetooth. You can use your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, but this is what I'm going to use today to demonstrate it on the screen. So I already connected the dongle to the Macy U4C and I'm just going to demonstrate and put the power on the side and let's see what's going to happen. So once you connect it, if you go to the back and you want to bring it up, you will see that there is a little LED. But on the screen, you're going to see the little penguins first. And then it's just going to say R box. And I'm just going to flip the screen and show you guys what you're going to see next. So for the meantime, do make sure that you have your keyboard already connected. All right, so as soon as it boots in, this is what you're going to see. And then in order to fix some of the things, you can go into the settings. You can go to Wi-Fi, turn it on, which I already did and already connected. You can see right now it says connected. You can go up. The first thing I would suggest for you to do is go to screen and go to screen scale and bring it all the way to the top, except that it is going to be zoomed out a little bit. So make sure that you select that first. You click OK to get out. If you want to install some other apps, you just have to get out. You can install that too. Now, as soon as this is launched, it will give you a little pop up that if you want to launch this with a different type of screen. So just to let you guys know, as soon as you go in, this is the screen you're going to see. And you can tell that on the top we have the Google search button, which is voice activated. So if you click on it and you want to say something, search for nearest coffee shop. It's pretty accurate. It actually goes in and finds out the nearest location for you and it will bring it up on the map. So this is where I am today. This is the office that we're using for today. And there are some little places that we can go, something like Italian Place or Tim Hortons, since we are in Canada and it will bring it up for you. Now, that was a little test for the microphone. It is very, very effective. But let's just go into the options and let you guys know what it comes with it. So the screen is pretty much the same as all the other Android. You can see that the return button is there, the home button, also the multitasking button, volume down, volume up, and the power button, which other devices usually don't have. So you can turn it off if you're not using it. If you go to the right and the bottom, you can see that anything that you download, it will be showing up right here and you can just get rid of it. The keyboard layout has been updated and also there's some other speech recognition update available. You can tell what the time and everything is. It is not accurate right now for me, but I'll be fixing that later. It also have the first launcher that comes with it. By default, it has a bunch of icons of it too. Something like if you want to go to internet, we have the browser. It has the movie player that you can play and save your songs. It's right there too application launchers which you can click actually takes you in 
also have another video player has the applications folder and we have the setting so let's go first to the settings let's talk about this a little bit so from the top to the bottom we have everything just like the other devices that are out there the few things I would suggest to check is first you need to set up your Wi-Fi second you need to set up your display or a screen and then you can change and you can play around with it if you go down you have to make sure that you connected to the Google Play and now you can get your updates and also you can download some free apps or if you want to buy some is a beautiful little device you can play a lot of games on this go on to about device going in here it will give me all the information that what software is running it is 4.2.2 the model number is x32 on this it's indicating and we will go out of the screen now I'm going to bring up the aspects of what this little device have. This is Macy's U4C model. The chipset on this is RK3188 quad core CPU. And the GPU on this is the quad core Mali 400 MP. The OS on this is the Android version 4.2.2. It has one gigabyte of DDR3 RAM, which makes it quite fast and also has four gigabyte of nano flash drive inside of it. It has built in Bluetooth 4.0, also have microphone and camera, which is two megapixel built in. It has one mini SD slot and it can read up to 32 gigabyte. The HDMI is 1.4. The USB is 2.0. The video resolution on this is 1080p. The video formats are very. You can see it right now on the screen what I just placed on audio. It plays a lot of different type of formats. So you can see it right now on the screen. The Wi-Fi on this is 2.4 GHz, 802.11. On this device, you can also install XBMC. Macy's U4C do have built-in camera. I haven't tested it yet and on a later video I will be showing you guys how easy it is to use it on Skype. The camera functionality is good. It is a very very effective little device. It has its own media player so if we go into the media player itself you can go to your media server so if you have anything and then you can also put it onto your list so it creates a little playlist and you can play it. But yeah, so today I came out with a little introduction and also unboxing of our Macy's U4C. It's a mini PC. It's quad core. Very, very powerful. I hope you guys like my video. If you do like it, click the, click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and other social networking places. And thank you.